Yeah. Shotty, what's good with you, bro? Hey, Shaq. What's the word with you, man? You know, I had to get you on the line as, you know, your name came up in an interview recently that I did, you know, and uh, everybody got their own side of the story and your name was really, you know, there's all type of allegations. So I figured y'all got to give my man Shotty a chance to give his side of the story, okay? Alright. <laughs> Alright, right, go for that. You know, you you know I'm here for it, man. You know, I don't really I don't really like talking about this corny shit shit played out, but you know what I mean? Any any anything that discredits my character, any man, I, I definitely have to answer. Good. Overall, right? Uh I don't know if you did see that it was an interview with me, six nine and whack one hundred. What did you think of it? Like did you hear anything about it? And like just uh, what's your thoughts of them two just even hooking up to, you know what I mean, just having a conversation about what went on? This call is from a federal prison. Put up together is, 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 is uh, you know, I, I, I ain't know on shit on nobody name or not, but that's corny as fuck. Wack is, Wack is a so-called gangster and, and 6 9 is, is who he is. And, and what, what, what would the both of them being together do? Like, what is that? Like, I don't understand what truth he's looking for or what, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. They best friends now. They hanging out. They buddies. They cool. Like, what, what, what's up with that? I, I well, can't, I can't get it. It doesn't add up for me. Well, I kind of played moderator in the whole thing, but I was really, I was really in the midst of listening to, you know, somebody who used to be quote unquote in that life turned, you know, cooperator, talking to somebody who, you know, is a street dude, whack, and pretty much they they laid a lot of blame at your feet. Okay, whack ain't a street. Whack is not a street dude. Not me to cut you off, but, but let, me, let me state that he's he's not a he's not a street dude. But go ahead. So I mean, he had he has some of the same allegations about you in terms of saying like, yo, he blames a lot of this on you, saying yo. It was your fault, for example, like you didn't initiate, you know, six nine the right way. You know, how do you how do you respond to something like that? You know, because you know I think he's looking I, at it from. What is he? What 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 knowledge does he have of what like the inner, inner workings of, of 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 me and my guys? Like he has none. So for him to say that is just like a, that's a ploy just to get some sort of reaction. You have no inner knowledge. What what way did I um did I initiate him? And did he speak on that? Well, Six Nine said he was never like jumped in the gang. He was like he basically just got put on because he had the bag. So pretty much, Wack was saying, "Yo, all right, let's stop. Let's stop right there. Let's stop right there before you go any further." When we met Six Nine, did, did Six Nine have a bag? No, he didn't. He yeah. got a bag from fucking with me and my and me and mine. He didn't come with a bag. Like we, that's that's not the truth. So that alone starts some with with a bullshit start. So like it's, it's not true, and he. <laughs> that's just not true. Like you know what I mean, I ain't gonna go no further than what he did or what he had to do. But, but, but still, even on 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 the behalf of six nine too, right? Like you know, at least how he painted the story. He said, "Yo, when he met you, he said you were sleeping on the carpet, so he looked like he was bringing some financially to the situation that wasn't there." Even on what carpet? Where? Like six nine? That's not all. That is not fake. Like that's not that is not true. Like that's not true. Like, like come on, man, we ain't gonna do that. We're not gonna do that, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all been believing this guy's lies too long, and, and the fact that you're perpetuating it is, is even worse, man. You know, you know the type of dude he is, man. Like, come on, Shotty. That's why I got you on the line, I'm, I'm, yo, Shotty. They want to get, they want to get it from the horse's mouth. They, and, and, and truth be told, if I wasn't trying to get, if I wasn't trying to get everybody side out, I, I would be like, nah, I don't want to talk to Shotty. But truth be told, your voice, your voice should be just as loud as everybody else speaking on situation because you was in the situation. You get me? Correct. Correct. And I. The reality of the situation is I really don't, it's, it's, it's done with, like he's done with. So just going over this is just a, a little clarification until the Trayway documentary comes out. But other than that, like, you know what I mean? I would love to, um, you know, you're my guy. So I'll go, I'll go with it from there, man. But that shit is a lie. You know that, man. So this is the big thing that everybody was arguing about, right? They they were arguing and 6 9 and Wack were arguing about if he was pretty much a civilian or a gangster or was he an affiliate or a part of 9 Trey. What do you stand on the whole thing? Uh, he definitely wasn't a civilian. I've never heard a civilian um, putting hits out on people or doing shit like that. Like, first and foremost, you know what I mean? Secondly, he definitely wasn't a gangster because, like, you know what I mean? I, I could give him, I could say that he was a gang member. He definitely wasn't a affiliate. He was a gang member. He wasn't nothing else. Like, you know what I mean? You give me a time and, 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 and you try to groom him as best as possible or you give him a shot and that's what he got. He got a shot and he blew it. He's definitely not a civilian. He's not a civilian. Yeah, so, so you, you don't believe that at all. Hey, how much did, like, you know, uh, money lead towards, you know, because th- that's another thing that Wax said. Wax said, listen, you know what? Money was so much the reasons why, you know, you guys may have did this and that may have pissed off 6 9 like, in terms of, um, you know, not retaliating when he got kidnapped or, hey, you guys gave him certain type of power because he had money. 
and maybe some infighting of about the money, you know, led to the whole thing falling apart. What do you think about that? That's not. That's 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 a total fraud. Nobody. Money didn't change anybody's situation. Like, money doesn't normally change the situation. Somebody doesn't like somebody. They don't want to follow rules in an organization. They get dealt with. It's just that simple. Any organization. So money wasn't didn't play a part in anything. Like from my angle, and um, as far as um, nobody retaliating for what happened to him. Like, fuck, kind of was like. <laughs> He know what went down, man. Like, so we ain't gonna get into that either. That's 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 that's, that's more stuff you all see on the documentary. But Danny knows that. Everything he's sitting out there is a lie. He's trying to make himself. He's trying to justify things that he did because he was scared. Like, just say you were scared, bro. Say you were scared. The feds came at you, and you, you told. Like, nobody. That's that's the truth of it. Nobody fucked your girl. Nobody robbed you for money. None of that stuff occurred. You know what I mean? So all the all the shit that's that's uh. Go ahead. Hey, and that's another big thing, you know, me and you, we've talking like, you know, off, you know, like uh, off of the record, uh, really off the record about that, because that's one of his main things. Like, yo, I found out my right hand man was fucking my girl. And, you know, that that looked like it put him in a place where he's like, nah, fuck all this shit. Like, I'm going to tell on people. What's your official word <laughs> on that? What's your official word on that, Scotty? Right, if you and Sarah have true. a I got, I, I got sent no act. You, but first of all, y'all know that. He knows that, man. I got 15 years, man. If I fucked her, I'd be like, yeah, I fucked her. Like, I, 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 I would be saying it just to make him mad, like, first and foremost. Secondly, I'm not one to lie on my dick, so there's no we didn't fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I got my time. Like, this shit don't mean nothing to me. I'm not trying to keep her name clean or my name clean. If I fuck her, I fuck her. That shit don't, that shit don't take no sort of my back. But I didn't, and I'm not going to take blame for nothing I didn't do. Like, it's just that simple. And he knows that, though. Like, again, another ploy to justify the bullshit that he did. Like, my nigga, just say you was scared. Say the fans ran down on you. You was scared. You ain't know what to do. And you told. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, like I'm not bad, my nigga. The whole thing about like July fifteenth or whatever that was, like when something at a spa, like cause he gave vivid, like he did, he did an interview on Shade Room, he told me the same thing. That yo, Sarah broke down in tears and told him, like, yo, listen, listen this is what this is what's going on. That's not true. You're gonna keep repeating it in different ways, but I'm gonna keep telling you it's not true. There's no reason for me to lie about it, bro. Like yeah. just, just understand that. Like my name means something, my word means something. I'm a, I, I deal with integrity, bro. Like if I did, I'd have said it. I'm not scared of him. I'm not like why would I who, who am I scared of at this point? Like, why, what would I be hiding at this point, bro? Are like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that shit don't mean nothing to me. If I fucked out of it, like, yeah, I fucked her and what? But that's not what happened. That didn't occur. You get what I'm hey. saying? She was fucking getting abused by the nigga, and I was holding him down. Like, he, he just an uh, insecure motherfucker. But that's neither here nor there. But the truth is, that's the point, I guess, him and his label trying to put together so he could come back or, or do whatever he's doing out there. But the nigga just, I like, guess, you told, bro. That ain't nothing. Like, accept what you did. Live with it, and and, 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 and and that's that. But the funny part is, like, he can't live with it, so he's making up all types of excuses, man. His money is low. Like, all that shit they talking about, man, like, come on, bro. Like, it's me. I know the ins, ins and outs of all his business. He was say, I came in a millionaire, I'm going to leave a millionaire. And, and that's just that. It's, not, it's nothing more to it, act. Like, it ain't nothing more to it, man. I don't got to lie. I don't got to hide nothing. Like, I am who I am. I, I, I do what I say I do, and that's just that. Towards the end, right, uh, like, you know, of the whole relationship, Takashi said that, you know, he felt you guys were being dishonest because there was show money money missing and you guys were lying about it. He said that on the Breakfast Club interview. D- did you ever take any money without his knowledge? Were you siphoning money off the top? Did anybody do that? Never. Nobody, like, academics, man, again. Y'all know what's true and what's fake, man. Like, you're in the business, okay? There are people that handles money, handle certain, certain amounts of money, and you know this. He had a business manager. I had my accountants. I had Tashia from MTA Booking. I had Nicole, which is my assistant. They all handled the funds. Like, if he had any proof on that, he would, he would have showed it. I would have been sued. Like, the point is, I'm a millionaire. He was mad. Like, I've made deals. He's not the only artist I work with. Like, that's just that's, that's just that. I came in jail a millionaire. I'm going to go home a millionaire with probably more money than I came in with. It's just that simple. There's no re- there's no need. There was never a need for me to steal anything or, or siphon or, or any other words you might come up with. Like, it didn't happen, man. Like, so the spreading in my name ain't going to work. First off, and if I did, I would t- I'm tough to act. Like, I'm not, I'm not a square. I would have said I took it. Like, I'm tough, my nigga. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, at no point could he do anything to me or nobody else. If I took money, I would have said, yeah, I took that nigga money. And that's- this call is from a federal prison. He wouldn't have had nothing to say. It's just that simple. Shadi, I remember one time I was in the studio with you and you said this vividly. You said, yo, I'll do anything for this kid. I'll, I'll, I'll lay my life down for him. Do you regret, you know, like statements like that or even do you regret like bringing him so close to like how you guys are moving 
that he had some of the knowledge. Because that's another thing that Wack 100 said. He said, if you're going to have somebody who's a high-prized asset like 6 9 he's not supposed to know when the shootings and the robberies about to go down. And he's not supposed to make so a call. Wack, to be right. the this, this, this is... Wack, whatever Wack says has no concern or, or, or no... It holds no merit on nothing I did or my, or my people do. First and foremost, let's get that out of the way, right? Secondly... I, we are who we are, bro. Like, there's no, there's no regretting anything. But the fact that you said that means that you know that we were loyal to him. Uh, aside from what he's normally saying, he's running around saying nobody was loyal to him. But you know firsthand that we were loyal. Am I right? Yeah. For the, the thing for I the saw, fact that you, you even asked that question. All right. So the fact that you even be honest, I had that question. Hold on, 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 hold on. Before you go any further, the fact that you even asking me a question about our loyalty, or if he, or if he. If he was, if we, if he, we thought that he violated our loyalty, that means we were loyal to him at one point. So, so whatever he's saying holds no merit, man. And even if I'm gonna go to this, man, worst case scenario, if I did fuck Sarah, did Kuda B fuck Sarah? Did Melly fuck Sarah? Did Crippy fuck Sarah? He said he didn't tell. He said he didn't tell on, on Kuda B. That, that's what he said. He says he never told on Kuda. He said Kuda told on him. Why? So why? 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 Kuda told on him. Why the fuck? Are you serious? That's what he says. He quotes. He quotes an article. Y'all know this public record, man. Like y'all know everything is public record. Kuda B ain't telling that boy, man. Kuda ain't Kuda B ain't do that, man. Tell the boy stop lying. Like why is Kuda in jail and he's not? Like common hey, sense will tell you that, man. Don't stop. Yeah. Would you do anything different? And also, you know, like you know, when we were doing that interview, like I saw, I saw, like you know, there was a DM. I guess your son had reached out to him. Like, would you ever forgive Six Nine? Ever? Forgive him? Not like he's forgiven. Like he. But he's a boy, like, he got to forgive himself at the end of the day. <laughs> he, don't, he, don't, he don't like how he living there. Like, he, he, he don't like that. He, he, he doesn't like hiding. He's, he's hiding. He don't got no money to pay security. You know what I'm saying? Like, money ran out, man. Like, he, he, it's over for him. That, that's just that, man. I'll call y'all back in like, <laughs> I'll call you back, man. I'm saying, so we, we can finish this stuff. I'll call you back, all right? All right. I, we were just talking about the cool to beat thing, and honestly, I'm going to be honest, you know, Hearing his take, you know, he's been on this app called Clubhouse, and he said, yo, he's really on this thing saying he didn't tell on Kuda B. Because I think that was the only thing that people said, well, if they robbed you, they kidnapped you, they fucked your baby mama, Kuda B's the only dude who did not do any of that. So why did you tell on no, him? No, no, let, me, let me stop you. Let me stop you first off. Nobody did any of that. All right, let's, let's, let's not get confused. Melly didn't do any of that. Ish didn't do any of that. I didn't do any of that. Ro Murder didn't do any of that. Crippy didn't do any of that. Uh, Drama didn't exactly. do any of that. Bat didn't do any of that. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, let's, let's stop right there, man. It's a, public, it's a public case, man. It's public record, man. Like, the, 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 the people who did what they did with him was dudes we was beefing with. That's what happens in the street. If you get caught slipping or you get caught, caught, caught lacking, somebody's going to do what they got to do with you on either end. So, like, for him to say that niggas wasn't loyal or none of my niggas, like, my niggas is stand-up niggas. We, every one of them, every last one of them. I couldn't be prouder to be in a situation with this, with any other people, including my man Ish. Ish is not a street dude. Ish is a home, a whole father. And, and the kid lied on him and said, Ish, Ish, Ish robbed somebody and Ish did all this. Come on, bro. All I want you to do is for future reference, man. I'm not, I, like, most of, everything's going to get clarified in the Trayvon interview, right, first and foremost. But secondly, when y'all interviewing this kid, ask him these questions. Y'all, y'all let him create a narrative that isn't true and just come up with lies. I, what should we he ask? Who to be told? Yeah. Ask him, why did, why, why did you, like, first and foremost, man, why are you still working with these people if, if, you, if you're not telling? How you think hey, this is the, all these uh, rappers are getting indicted by the feds right now? Who you think, go back to his case history. Like, when he testified, he called all these dudes' names up. Why are you calling Jim Jones? Let's call it from a federal prison. Why are you calling Jim Jones' name in interview with, with Wack? Why are you doing things like that? You're still trying to get people indicted. What, kind, what type of time are you on if you didn't tell? If you're, like, you feel what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait hold on. I'm, I'm glad you brought up Jim Jones because, like, for clarity for everybody else, does, does uh, and, and I'm, I'm hoping you, have a, you still have a good relationship with, with, with Mel Murder, right? Do you, Mel Murder, or anybody else in, 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 from Nine Trey consider Jim Jones a snitch? Hell, come on, that's not even a question. That's the, that's not even a question. If he was, we wouldn't be around. That's the bro, like that's the. I love him. I love him like I like like he loves us. It's just that simple. Like, that, that's not even a question. That's like that. That's <laughs> no, like it's point blank. No, like not not, not even he, his name is not even the same sentence as that. It wouldn't be. It couldn't be. Like we hold him with the highest regard for a reason. It, it, it couldn't be. It wouldn't be. Not at all. I'm only asking that because recently, like the whole topic of. 
uh, 6 9 saying, yo, he should have been indicted because of a conversation about super violent. Well, listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Like, y'all got to really understand what's going on. This is a federal case. Right? If Jim had anything to do with anything, he would have been indicted. He didn't have anything to do with anything, bro. People are allowed to say what they feel at any given time. If you violate me and I feel like like I want to tell my brother what to do, that's cool, bro. Like, that's what he was doing. Y'all heard it. it the, the recordings came out, and the, and the full-length recordings are going to be out on on on, on the Strayway documentary, my documentary. But you guys, you heard what Complex released. Y'all heard it. He was just speaking something. He didn't say anything. Nobody said kill the kid or hurt the kid. He ain't say well, nothing well, like that. Well, Wax said a security guard was attacked afterwards. That's what he, 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 he said. Security guard was attacked. Wax has no Wax. Wax is not part of this. Like, why, why does his what he says have merit? Like they're speaking. Well, 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 it's it's a part of the the main narrative and conversation. When we talked before we even did this, you said, "Act, what's going on with the narrative?" All right. This is how the narrative is getting out. So I'm asking you, you can confront the narrative. This is for the world. This is for the world. This is for the world and all your fans and all his fans, man. Right? When somebody speaks on a situation without any facts, it's their opinion. What you're listening to is two fucking corny ass dudes' opinion. These are not facts. Like, you get what I'm saying? If somebody wants to take the time out and get facts, they can do that. That's what we're here for. It's a public record, man. The case is public record, man. So all this shit that y'all running around with this dude and he's running around talking all this shit. And come on, man. It's, it's not even interview worthy. You get what I'm saying? It's not even interview worthy. And by the way, I know you say you didn't consider, which I, I would like to know why you didn't consider um, Wack a street dude. But for us civilians like me, right, when Wack says, yo, I know what usually goes down when things like this happen. So, so you know, like if he's he's given insight, you know, so um, number one, why, why don't you? What usually goes down? Well, he's just saying that usually if somebody's on a converse, on, a, on a wiretap talking, talking like that, usually charges come down. If there isn't charges, there's something else going on. That's his thing. That's his thing. First and foremost, you have to... Uh, uh, usually, that's, he's never been in, in, indicted by the federal government. Like, you have to commit a crime. Like, the federal... The, the standards on, on, on being in the federal government is very high. Like, even in the state, you can't prosecute somebody for being on the phone and saying, hey, yo, I think you should do this, or I think you should do that. Like, he, that's what Jim did. Like, you got the recordings, release them shits again, and clear my man's name. That shit is... The shit, the shit is going on out there for, with, with dudes who have no merit or no facts claiming... Real niggas is rats. That's crazy. Like, and when a rat is saying that, that's even crazier. Like, a rat is a rat is a rat. Like, what the fuck are you guys not understanding? Why does he have merit? The kid's career is over. Rat, y'all probably, how much y'all pay Wack to do this shit? How much his label pay Wack to do it? Like, Wack came to me with the idea of sitting down with 6 ix 9 He came to me with the idea. Yeah, so that, so that means Wack, Wack, Wack must need some clout. He must need some money. He gonna do something. Like, what's up? Tell a nigga holler at me. I'll send him a mail. He need that? Hey. Hey, hey, hey some money wanna... out there? Like, what's going on? I do want to ask you though, because you know, on one of the wiretaps that they don't talk about, like, and I think that's why you know, you know, even Six Nine's audience started to rally against you personally, right? There was a conversation where you know, it looked like you know, either Mel or somebody was telling you to super violate Six Nine, and people took that like you were gonna harm Six Nine or like you know, you know, like they were for arguing a bit of like you about to kill him or something about like that. Like that's how people took it. Pretty much, you get me? so what is super violate? What is super violent? Super violent. All right, if y'all would have heard when you, when when my documentary comes out, and they let the, the full interview come out. They're gonna hear me saying, "Yo, bro, I got it. We going on TMZ on Monday." Like that's what that's the end of the conversation. If that's what y'all gonna hear. Are like, you get what I'm saying? Like super violent can mean anything, but he didn't mean if we wanted to hurt him, he would have been hurt. Like that's just that simple. Did you have plans of of, of hurting six nine or or, or or like you know doing anything yeah, that bro, you know? Never. Like you, yo, listen, man, listen, man. The feds ran down him, ran down on him on Thursday, and by Sunday night we were in, we were all locked up. Did you hear what I'm saying? Like it never crossed my mind in, in none of that time, bro. And if it did, I'm the one who found him the place to live. I'm the one who handled all his bills. I'm the one who who was in charge of all the finances. So, so if I needed or wanted anything done, it would have been done. And still to this day, it can't be done. Like so, all that shit y'all talking, all that shit that they're out there promoting. Like, let's stop that, man. The fact is, the kid is out there running around. Trying to get a career out of nothing. He has his his money's done. You get what I'm saying? And he's begging for death. Like let's let, let's pray for this kid, man. Let's let's pray for him, man. Shadi, you just mentioned even still to this day. Like I mean, so you don't wish anything bad happening to him, right? You want? Would you? You don't wish that anyone would retaliate? This call is from a federal prison. There's no way I wish. I, don't, I, 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 I no. I wish life to the nigga, so he could keep. So he, I, you know, why I want to live, so he could see and live and realize how hard it is. How these snitch niggas. 
Like, what he got to do? Like, he, he can't have a normal life ever. He can't go outside ever. He can't go shopping. He can't go to the club ever. He can't be normal again ever. And the little money you had is going to run out. And when it runs out, you're going to have to deal with the dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I want him to live. I want him to hurt. I don't want nothing wrong. I don't want nothing to happen to the kid. I want him to, I want him to survive. I want him to enjoy life, man. And see the other side of this shit, man, because this shit is real, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to, that, that's it. I, I'm not mad at you. Like, you got to live with that, man. I don't got to live with this shit. This time, this shit, every day pass out, I, I get closer to home. I'm fighting mine. All my niggas been prepared to do this. We've been prepared to do this, man, prior to him. And, and you get what I'm saying? This is what we, this is how we bred, man. Every last one of them. That's why none of my niggas told. That's why none of mine testified. And I'm, and I'm happy for that. Like, I'm grateful. I'm like, that's the, that's, that's what I see out of everything, man. So, um. I also see people say, you know what, maybe 6 9 is getting unfairly blamed for the whole gang going down. There were other people who cooperated, CEO Chris, there was the driver, driver as well. Um, did you guys blame mostly 6 9 or, or? Jorge. Jorge is a civilian, all right? Chris is, is, Christian Cruz is definitely a rat, and Danny Hernandez, 6 9 is definitely a rat. Like, it's just that simple, man. So, like, he wasn't, the, he wasn't the one who brought the indictment about, but he definitely um cooperated, and that's just that. Like, feel me? We ain't going to keep talking about over and over the things that he claims are facts. When you guys get in there, relate, ask him real questions. Man, don't let him co- create a narrative. Ask him real questions. Ask him, why did you testify on these people? If they were loyal to you, you keep saying that, that we were loyal to him, but he says we're not. Like, how, when were we loyal? When were we loyal? Like, when? When? Nobody fucked you, girl. Nobody... Hurt you like you was never touched out there. So, 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 so for clarification, the people who kidnapped him, like y'all were beefing with. So it wasn't one of you, like one, like one of the homies. No, no, there was niggas that we wasn't fucking with. We were not cool with them. Like it's just that simple. He knows that. So why is he saying that? Like yo, those were my dudes. No, at one point we were cool, but <laughs> we weren't cool anymore. He knows that. Like that shit is crazy. He knows that, man. But again, it's, it's, he's trying to justify his actions, man. What I want to say is, dude, tell him you were scared. Let him know the truth, and, and you'll be all right, man. But you won't keep lying and perpetuating and acting like you're a gangster. You're going to get what gangsters get, man. You, you, it's just that simple, man. I wish him the best. You know what I'm saying? I want to say shout-out to my, my niggas, my family, my friends, the family of my, my Cody's. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout-out to Crippy, Row Murder, Mel Murder, Trauma, Ish. That, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. even the niggas who we ain't fuck with that's on the case that did what they, they, they didn't tell. You get what I'm saying? So shout out to them niggas, too, because that we bred a whole different way, man. Hey, you know what hey, I mean? Hey, tell a nigga I got 1.5 million. He told me he going to knock niggas out. I got 1.5 million and my son will knock him out. Clean. However he wanted. Don't, don't, go, don't go looking for Meek Mills or Lil Durk or none of them niggas. Tell him I'll let my son. We got this. I got 1.5 on that. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Do you think either party, like either either you or he, manipulated each other? Do you think that he manipulated you guys? Do you think you guys manipulated him? Not whatsoever, man. Fair exchange is never a robbery, right? Let's leave it like that. Fair exchange is never a robbery. There would never be no six nine without Trayway and vice versa. Like not, they would not vice versa, but there would never be six nine without Trayway. Let's put it like that, man. We were here before he came around. We're gonna be here long after he he he's gone. It's just that simple, man. I mean, check out the Trayway documentary when it dropped, man. Yeah, I, I, I really just want to use this part, really just kind of checking on you, you know, because I think the people want to want to know how life been on, been for you on the inside, and like how you surviving. Like, you know, you seem like you in decent spirits, you know. I'm not in decent spirits. I'm in great spirits. Like, we ain't gonna do that, man. We don't do decent, man. We do great everything we do, man. My spirits are great. You know what I mean? I'm, I am who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be myself everywhere I am. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna live like a king no matter where I'm at, man. When in Rome, you know what I'm saying? It's just like that, man. This time is gonna be I'm gonna be home way sooner than everybody thinks. Um <laughs> way sooner than everybody thinks. Trust that, let's start with that. Then um I just wanna see my friends get home first, you know what I'm saying? That's all. Yeah, That's really, you- the laws are changing, I mean everything's in my favor and, and, and I pray every day that, that that God continues to look over my family and my loved ones and that's the most I can ask for, you know what I mean? Keep my house strong and that's it. Hey, do you blame yourself for associating, you know, even with 6 9 that led to, maybe not you, but, like, other people? Like, you know, you mentioned someone who who is seemed like a civilian as well who got caught up in that case. You know, you said 6 9 told on. Do you blame yourself for, like, yo, maybe I shouldn't have had this dude around? Um, I'm going to say I blame myself. First and foremost, um, everybody around, like... I take responsibility for, for everything that's happened, man. First and foremost, let, let, let's get that out of the way. I definitely do. 
Um, and we told my Ish, free my man Ish, you know what I'm saying? He was a great father, like, you know what I mean? He was just, Ish used to just drive us around, man, for the, for the most part, man. So, um, he, he didn't break, he ain't been, he ain't fall real trade shit, he ain't speak on nothing that, that, that he could have, or, you know what I mean? I guess, you know what I mean? I, I want to, I want, I want to say shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, uh, I take full responsibility, man. Let's, let's put it like that, man. I mean? I, I can't go no further than that. I, I, I don't regret, I don't want to say I regret anything, because, you know, we live with regrets in this life, man. You learn to live with it. You learn to, um, I wouldn't even say regrets. It's like a, a, a experience, a learning experience like that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, hey. I'll, yeah, good. Has any, like, rappers or anybody in the industry reached out, you know? Because, you know, I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of rappers who, you know, they seem pissed off how it went down, and they're vocal about it now, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of people spoke up about, you know... Nah, a lot of jump out, I've been getting love, you know what I mean? I definitely... I've been getting plenty of love, you know what I'm saying? It's just that, uh... I understand where I'm at. Like, I don't... You, the feds is like a tag game, man. They they, they they record your call. They watch who you, who you interact with. And I don't want to get nobody else in there. You know what I mean? You already seen what, what, what Danny's done. He done involved Casanova. He done got uh, Cardi B. He done got all kinds of people indicted, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? People just don't even understand this shit, man. Everybody's name, everybody's name that he mentioned during the during the trial is now under some sort of federal investigation or they're indicted, man. You know what I'm do you saying? think he got something to do with that? Stay away from the kid, man. Of course. Like, what do you mean? Do I think so? Like, of course. Of course. No way fans about it, man. And if you don't believe that, you're a fool. Of course. <laughs> But of course, no matter what you say, like, come on, bro. I mean, I just don't do anything. On, when, you, I mean. when you cooperate, first off, when you cooperate... This call is from a federal prison. It's not a one-time thing. Like, they, you don't cooperate and be like, oh, it's over. You continue doing what you're doing. Why do you think he's out there trying to get people to... Why do you think he's taunting people? He wants to get somebody... He wants... He's working. He's, he's trying to get people to jump out there, man. That's the questions you need to ask this kid, man. That's what you need to be doing. Y'all, y'all, y'all not asking him any questions. He's out there controlling and making a narrative... Of, some, of a bunch of bullshit. He says no facts. He, he he says things and backs it up with no evidence. Like, none whatsoever. Where's the evidence? All the shit that he's coming on and, and conversating about, where's the evidence? Yo, like, was there... facts to back it up? We have, we have facts. Was there any point that you actually thought if this went left and, you know, like, you know, the feds running or anybody ran, ran in, did you feel that he was going to stand tall at any point? Honestly, there was a point I did, you know what I mean? But the whole catch is, you didn't have to stand tall when you had dudes around you that would have took every every charge. Like, that's the whole catch, man. Niggas ain't, none of my Cody's are mad. Like, that's what you want, I want you to understand, man. I'm not mad, man. You get what I'm saying? For, at him, like, I'm I, I, I'm disappointed in the fact that you could have just been, the feds came and they contacted me, bro. What should I do? And we would have took it from there, like, because I would have took every charge. Like, hey, yo, tell him I did it. Let me, give me the opportunity to say, listen. I did it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Give me the shot. Let me do that at least. Like, niggas, we, we do this, man. Every one of my dudes, every last one of them was, was willing to give up 20 years of their life at any given time. Just, just, just all for the, just for the cause. Like, and prior to this nigga. That's why my circle was so small. Every one of us. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's just that. What's your occupation? This is our occupation. Like, that, that, that was just that. So, Man, he's he he did it to himself, man. I don't, I, it's really too much. Not too much I can keep saying it without sounding redundant about it. But you know what I mean, we we this is what we do. We were prepared for this. Uh, have, have you talked to uh, uh um? Have you talked to like Sarah at all? Like she, she she's definitely she's always sung your praises, saying you're a good guy. You know, she always said free shoddy. Have you communicated with her since you you've been been? No, no. Since I've been down, y'all communicated early, earlier than the K, you know what I'm saying? Just to let her know, because she was kind of worried, like, like she felt like somebody was like, we were going to try to, you know what I mean? Like, her or any, any man or shit like that. You know, niggas ain't for that shit. Like, this ain't, she holds no blame, bro. Like, so that was it. And um, since then, uh, not really too much, you know what I mean? But I, I, I wish her the best. I wish her daughter the best. You know what I mean? I wish her family the best, you know what I'm saying? Because she's a, she's a, she was a good person, like, you know what I mean? Um, do you feel like it's a smart thing? You know, like you know, in in an in interview and even afterwards, Six Nine says he's moving without security, he's moving without an entourage, and he's just out here. He's like that, you know. <laughs> Who, what do you think about that? Because you you've been around him, you know, in situations that no one else has been around him in. Do you feel well, like we, we all know he's lying? He's not. He's not moving around without no sort of security entourage. Like he's scared. Um. The kid is, he's, like, he's a kid, like, he knows he's scared, like, he's doing this for the public, we all know, you know him, so you know he's doing this for the ratings, he's trying to generate some sort of income, bro, 
I want that's the part I want you to keep it real about. Let like you guys know he's trying to generate some sort of income. All his millions and millions of dollars is a lie. He doesn't have fifteen, twenty million dollars. We all know it's a lie, bro. We all know the cost of security. I used to spend at least fifty thousand dollars every ten days when I was home on security for him. So <laughs> come on, bro. He's not running around in any anybody's neighborhood by himself. Like you know what I mean? And I hope well I, at least I hope he isn't. Like that. I hope he isn't. I, I know he, he should be a little smarter than that. And don't believe what you guys see on the internet, man. It's just, it's just a ploy. He might, he was on old block for what for three minutes in the middle of the night and, and left. So, <laughs> yo, Shadi, w- w- what about people who say, yo, man, you know, you know, we would feel bad for like Shadi and you know, like the whole gang, but like, man, you guys sat by while he was doing that at old block while he was doing that plane. You know what I mean? You know, hide and go seek with L.A. Uh, foremost, man. We didn't sit by where he did anything, man. Like, that's not the whole catch, man. That shit is, all that shit is publicity, man. Everybody that has artists or deal with artists know they do certain things. 6 9 is an internet troll. You guys know him. You personally know him. He trolls people. He trolls you. You troll other people with him. So y'all know how it works, man. So same like we sat back and didn't do anything. None of that shit was serious. Like, and if it became serious, hey. Again, fair exchange has never been a robbery. I, I was a manager and I'm and a CEO of a record label. What do you want me to do? You guys, do you ask Elliot Grange these questions? Was Elliot Grange sitting back and watching him? Did, did anybody stop him at these points? But, but y'all want to ask Treyway? Like, that's, that's what you guys need to ask, man. It's, 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 it's a business, bro. You know it. I, I get it. I get it. Entertainment, that's what you call it. I get it. But, you know, the, the people, they're always going to put blame. I do want to ask, you know, kind of wrapping up here. And, and I, I'm really thankful that, you know, you gave me some time here to clear everything up. If you had one 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 message for either six nine or actually a message for six nine and whack, you know, again, you don't speak often, but every day it feels like your name is being dragged into, or you're getting blamed for this and third, or you know, um, there's more things. That Heavy people is the head that wears the crown, man. I, I could just say that. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, man. If I if I took took the heart, everything people say it on a daily basis, man, I wouldn't be me, man. Like it's just it's just it's just like that, man. I have nothing to really, like, I don't want to ask them anything. I don't want to say anything to them, man. I just want to let them know, man. First of day, like, what he's asking for, he's definitely going to get. First of all, you know what I'm saying? Whack, man, like, you're old, you're washed up, man. Stay in your lane, man. Stay in your place. When I was in the streets, man, you had nothing, he, he had nothing to say, man, but good things, man. I was in L.A. running around. I was I was everywhere, man. Shout out to my nigga Sherlock Dirt, man. Shout out to the Buck Bounty Hunters and Nickerson Gardens, man. Niggas know what it is when I touch down, man. It's just like that, man. Ain't shit changed, man. So he could, he could... He can say what he wants because I'm incarcerated, you know what I'm saying? But they know they know the vibes, man. I got I got plenty plenty love in, on the West Coast, man. Plenty love, man. And ain't shit change, but just just don't mention my name is what I'm asking, man. Don't mention my name. Don't try to discredit credible dudes and don't put names on people that don't deserve it deserve it, man. Especially coming from a, a known federal informant, a, a known federal cooperator, a known federal witness, man. Come on, bro. That's just whack. <laughs> that's just that's just what it is, man. What's your, what's your, um, like we've seen recently, you know, Jim Jones is, you know, trying to not speak about it, but we've seen like people like Trav, Trav, you know, Trav, MBB. He, oh, he shout out speaking. to Trav, man. That's the bro. Shout out to 21. Shout out to Trav. Shout out to everybody that's letting them know. You know, the yo, bro, man. He's, he, everybody knows, man. He got paid to do whatever he did for six nine, man. The money ain't never worth it, bro. The integrity is everything, man. If you don't got no integrity, if your name don't mean nothing in, in these streets, man, like, you're, you're worthless, man. So, um, on him, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the, just uh, all I'm asking is just don't discredit stand up individuals, man. Don't try to talk about Jim. Don't talk about, like, other people that didn't do it. Don't talk about cool to be. You know what I mean? If you if you want to say you're a gangster and you ratted and niggas was destroyed, keep up the whole talk, man. But don't discredit real niggas, man. That's, that's, that's just where I stand on that, man. Hey, and, and everybody want to know what's next for, uh, you know, Shoddy? What's next for, you know, uh, Treyway Entertainment? You know, is is there is we're gonna see a comeback? You know, is there something where we see you get out of jail and you're still in this music industry? Is it something where you just said, "Man, fuck all that. I'm not. I'm not gonna get involved with this shit no more." You tell us. Nah, like I made, I made, I made good money. I, I'm, um, it put me in a place where I'm comfortable for the rest of my life. Um, like uh, uh I have a lot of. Uh, I, I'm still grooming artists. We're still working with artists. We're we're trying to get into the to the movie field. We start with the documentary. Like it's it's a lot of things wrong for us, but uh. At this point, there's nothing solid other until I touch the streets, man. Like, let's put it like that, man. I'm working on my freedom first and foremost, man. Get back to my family. You know what I mean? Is there, there, we'll, we'll take it from there, man. Just... Is there a year we could expect you to be out? Like, is there any type of hopeful type of situation? 
that you know people could expect. Oh, it's definitely, they, man. Listen, man. I'm, I'm on direct appeal currently right now, man. So uh, I, I, when I get the news, you get the news, man. But just know I'm I'm standing up. I'm ten toes down. We don't break. We don't bend. We don't fold. It's still fucking straight way. You know the fucking vibes ain't shit changed, man. You know what I'm saying it's still big bees. Everything is the same, man. Shout out to all my niggas. I want to say that, man.